So it looks like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Amory Wiley, aka Eight and a Half, has stuck her foot in her mouth because now the American Society for Anesthesiologists are calling her out for being fake. She's doubling down and coming out against them saying that they are trying to do some sort of smear campaign. I have to explain how this all even started. And it started on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after show. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, if you've been watching our Real Housewives of Beverly Hills recaps, we've been telling you about this whole esophagus, esophagus gate situation that's been happening. And I can't, I have to remind you, that it was Kyle Richards that brought this up in regards to Sutton's esophagus. And then she really put the battery in Anne Marie's back to bring her medical knowledge to the situation. We thought that it was over only for this past week's episode. Anne Marie is bringing it up again at the, well, it was last week's episode, bringing it up again at the Celebration of Life event and apparently she brought it up multiple times she said she spoke to some of her colleagues about Sutton's esophagus and look could Sutton be exaggerating the issue could look we don't know we're not doctors and neither is she but what I don't want this conversation and this conflict to become a conflict between nurses and doctors and honestly it has nothing to do with that and I feel like that is what Anne Marie is trying to do in her response. But first, a lot of people are wondering why did the American Society of Anesthesiologists come out so blatantly towards a real housewife? So, there's some backstory to this. So, let me give you the backstory before we get to what they had to say. So, this is what Anne Marie said on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after show. So, a nurse anesthetist is an RN that practices anesthesia, and an anesthesiologist is an MD that practices anesthesiology. So we do the same practice, we have the same scope of practice, we just get there two different paths. I know the difference, honey. Our governing body is called the American Association of Nurse Anesthesiology. You can actually say nurse anesthesiologist, that is an absolutely acceptable title. Sorry that you don't understand my title. I get it. A lot of people don't understand what a nurse anesthetist is. We're working on it. Public campaign coming. But like, that's not my fault that you don't know what I do. Shout out to all the CRNAs. So backstory on what she's referring to. It's in referring to Crystal accusing Anne-Marie of saying that she was an anesthesiologist and not a nurse involved in anesthesiology. Okay. I cringe a little bit just because she's like, because the way she's associating what she does to what these doctors do, I can see why the American Society of Anesthesiologists came out as hard as they did. So they said this on their Instagram, their official Instagram, pointing out the clear differences between what Anne Marie eight and a half does versus what anest anesthesiologists do. But first, in their caption, they say, the Real Housewives know a fake. Anesthesiologists are medical doctors with more than 12 years of higher education and up to 16,000 hours of clinical training. Title misappropriation has no place in healthcare. Okay, so they literally are showing you the differences. And like I said before, I don't want this to become nurses versus doctors. I already know in that field it already exists. What we're pointing out here is... Anne Marie misrepresenting herself to Crystal and possibly to the group. All right. Because if you watch that episode of the after show, the group says, well, she really does represent herself like a nurse that's involved in anesthesiology. Crystal points out, she said she only started doing that when she became a part of the show. She says that in her Instagram bio, she literally changed it recently to reflect a clearer picture that she's a nurse versus an anesthesiologist. I can see that. you. I'm sure you know people very much like eight and a half that sort of misrepresent their careers. So this is what the American Society of Anesthesiologists had to say, which is pretty big for them to come out and say this. And I said, 
The fact that they came out and said this, I wonder if eight and a half's position at her current employment might be in jeopardy. New York City, we are going to be having our very first live show, Kempire After Dark, at Green Room 42. There are only a few tickets left, only a few meet and greet tickets left, but you can still have an opportunity to see me live, our very first live show on January 25th, this week. So for more information on that, be sure to check out the description. And Washington DC, you're up right after that. February 16th, Valentine's Day week, weekend, we will be in your city, and I'm so excited to bring the Kempire After Dark tour to Washington, D.C. For your ticket information, again, you can find all of that in the description of this video. And I can't wait to see you all in person. The seriousness probably is probably what prompted Anne Marie to post on her Instagram story this. So Anne Marie says this, I do not condone the ASA's defamation campaign. I am a CRNA, a certified registered nurse, emphasis, oh, look, I'm, don't get me lying with these pronunciations, okay? I am extremely proud of my profession. I will not be accused of title misappropriation because a castmate needed a storyline on a reality TV show. This is my real life and my career. I am not an anesthesiologist, nor have I ever claimed to be one. Literally, in that video, didn't she say, you can we can use the title nurse anesthesiologist okay girl um she says i have immense respect for for physician anesthesiologists and i ask that the asa and other anesthesiologists show respect to the crnas as well this type of unhealthy discourse only causes friction and professional division political issues exist between physician anesthesiologists and crnas which explains their current attack on me and the CRNA profession. See, this is what I feel like you're doing. This is what I feel like, Anne Marie, you are doing. You're trying to make this sort of like a nurses versus physician. Their stance is that please do not misrepresent what we do as anesthesiologists. She's probably accusing them of clout chasing very much like what she accused Dr. Nicole Martin about on Real Housewives of Miami, who is also an anesthesiologist. They probably also didn't like the fact that you were trying to play her, too. She continues. She says, our goal as anesthesia pro providers should always be working together in order to best serve our patients, not competing with one another. My aim is to educate the public on who CRNAs are and what we do in providing the highest quality of anesthesia care to those we serve. We only are talking about your position. You probably should send a thank you note to Crystal because we have nothing else that we've talked about in regards to your own personal storyline. So to accuse Cricket, look, we're going to be fair, to accuse Cricket of trying to use you for a storyline, girl, we haven't seen anything of your personal story and we get it. You probably have shared that and they have not shown it. But let's be real, we haven't gotten anything and they probably haven't shown it because it's probably not that interesting. And I don't know about anyone else, I really tried to have an open mind and an open heart to these new housewives like NECA and in um, Eight and a Half. But it's like you, you fall into the pit of trying to have a moment, to be thirsty, to clout chase. You are clearly projecting, I think. That's what you are doing here. And I don't like the fact that now you're trying to make it anesthesiologists versus CRNAs. No, it's not about that. It's about you using your medical expertise, which it doesn't seem like you were, it was that it wasn't very expert like because you had anesthesiologists correcting you. You're using that as a storyline to and you're weaponizing it against someone that's not your patient, which makes me concerned that this is the type of behavior and microaggressions that you actually use in your work field. Just saying. As assuming that someone might having an eating disorder and then saying that on national television and then 20 seconds later saying, oh, I never said that. You have been caught on tape. So she wasn't done because now she's backtracking on the whole esophagus, esophagus gate situation. So Amory then says the esophagus storyline was not funny. Watching the show back now, I hate that I hate that storyline just as much as everyone else. I would be mad at me too. It was a line of questioning I should have never started and for that I sincerely apologize. 
That storyline was un unauthentically dragged on for far too long, and I have been dragged through the mud in the process. I just want to highlight the real in reality TV. Okay, girl, um, look, I still want to see more of her own personal life, if that's at all interesting. But you already were coming into the situation where people already saw the old tweets from your husband, then that recent lawsuit from a woman accusing him of essay from 1994. I'm not one of these Housewives fans that were like, oh, fire her. But girl, based off what we've seen so far, I, I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying. I'm not liking. And even the way that you're handling this situation, instead of just taking ownership, you're you're making excuses and then you're calling people clout chasers. It's not very likable. And I wanted to like you. It's unfortunate. Guys, I want to know your reaction to what the American Society of Anesthesiologists had to say to Anne Marie, the backstory, and Anne Marie's response to the American Society of Anesthesiologists. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the fire. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow my lady. Just watch the shoes.